All right, we've got a quick little update, short video, giving y'all a monthly update of Noah, uh, as I said I would. A little bit behind schedule, but we're gonna try to do a monthly update on him since, you know, he is very old now and a lot of y'all are subscribing just to see him. So, giving you a little update. Sorry. Hi, buddy. Get a little, real close to the camera. You're a little blurry right there. How about that? Uh, he's really good again. Um, I think I commented on my last video and I pinned it, talking about his middle nail. I get a lot of questions about. Um, once again, could be my fault not being able to properly trim them, but he doesn't hold still as you can see um, to be able to trim his nails and I don't want to take him to a vet. Probably the first question I'm going to go ahead and address. Uh, you see it's a little bit better from the last time. He does not like it and it's very hard because you'll see his nail will bend in the end of his toe and it does not feel comfortable to him. And one thing that y'all cannot see with his nails is half of this on uh, these long nails, half of it is like your pink part to your nail, whatever this is called. Now, if you cut that, that's really painful. That's one of the reasons why I'm not able to trim these things the way I want to. I know, buddy, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. And, but I have been trimming the end of them and nail filing them is one of the comments I did pin about. So for anybody asking questions about it, um, that's, you know, it's a work in progress. He does not like to hold still, as you can see, and I can't take him to the vet. It's going to cause a lot of stress to him, as I've said before. So he's in good shape. He's healthy. His nails are good. Um, we're just still working on it. His feet are very, uh, very old. I don't know if you can see all the wrinkles and everything. So we're trying to take care of him as best we can. But uh, half of those, half of his actual nail is the uh, pink part, like towards his cuticle. It's, it causes him a lot of pain if I even get close to it. So, that's the first question we're addressing right away. Um, I don't know if I had any other questions in my last video that I haven't answered before, but if anybody's new here and y'all have any questions about him, feel free to ask, you know, comment. Uh, one of the things I have been seeing a lot of you comment is uh, thinking about getting my kid a, uh, a bird or a white dove. And as I've stated in several videos before, uh, birds can be very high maintenance. Uh, white doves are really not, but you still need to know what you're doing, how to take care of them. Because when I first got him, when I was nine years old, I'm 31 now, uh, about to be 32 in March. So he will be 23 years old at that time. And the one thing that I will say is when I got him, I really wanted a white dove. Uh, make sure as the parents, if you're getting your child this bird, that you know what you're doing and taking care of them, even though they're low maintenance. You know, there's, there's some things and steps that you will need to take for these birds uh, just to make sure you teach your kids how to properly take care of them. Um, but overall, it, you see he's in great shape. I didn't know what I was doing at the beginning, but we learned pretty quickly. And so I'll be more than happy to do it. Stop. I'll be more than happy to help y'all in any way. Um, one of the things that y'all can see is he doesn't fly very well anymore. So something I had to train him, I couldn't, I got to a place where I couldn't let him out every day and I couldn't even let him out. I mean, it was pretty bad. It was, I couldn't let him out, but every few days because he would fly and just run into stuff in his later years. So we got a new, we got a new method and he's smart enough now to realize I'm not going to drop him. He's not going to fly and hit something. So one of the things I do as soon as I get get him out of the cage is he'll stretch his wings really good and I don't drop my hand. He'll stay on my finger and then he'll relax. So he is doing a lot better now, not running into stuff, aren't you, buddy? Uh, he's He's got good eyesight. Um, for a while, I thought he was probably hard at seeing because if any of y'all are wondering, is he deaf? Is he blind? Is he having any other issues? No, he was just only having problems flying. Uh, he's just getting older, uh, much like a, a dog, um, you know, limping when it gets older, can't run as well. It's the same concept. Uh, I had somebody comment and say, well, you kept it in his uh, cage all your life. You know, of course he's not going to fly well. I'm like, dude, it's no different than a elderly person, elderly dog, whatever it is. You know, it just gets older. You can't run or fly as well, operate as uh as what you could in your younger days right not saying anything bad or speaking anything bad over anybody but typically when you're i don't know we'll say he's probably oh i don't know what what about bird years buddy you probably like 100 i don't know 80 or 100 in bird years then for him and uh, you're not going to fly as well so i don't know what the math is for a white dove in terms of human years but typically as i've answered before 
these guys average life expectancy in a household is like 12 years 12 to 15 but i have talked to a lot of people that their little doves have lived past um, 20 and uh, even one person uh, told me that their bird was 30 i've said it before in a video uh, they didn't have the paperwork to prove it but they said their white dove lived to 30 so these guys can live a while so i don't know what the actual um year or bird or white dove to human ratio is kind of like you know dogs are seven to you know one year for humans i don't know what these guys are but i am glad that i got him and unfortunately if people are upset because they're like oh don't take him out of the wild you know he doesn't need to be in a cage uh he would have been dead probably 20 years ago because in the wild they don't live but one to three years um so i don't know would that have been better for you buddy you'd have been free for about three years and yeah, I don't think he likes that. He likes he likes me. He likes being alive. He likes stretching his wings. He likes being taken care of and fed. A uh, comment I always get is, what kind of food does he eat? So I feed him cockatiel food. Uh, he likes the little small pieces. I've done par uh, parakeet food. He really, I don't know why. Parakeet food is smaller than cockatiel food, and he doesn't like it for some reason. So he likes cockatiel food, but he only picks out the small pieces. He won't eat like big sunflower seeds or anything like that. Uh, for a snack, he likes eggshells. I crunch them up and we'll, he'll eat eggshells. It's fun to eat your own kind, isn't it? And, uh, huh? That. And uh, so he he likes cockatiel food. That's what I personally feed him. Uh, I don't know, you know, if there's, there's probably, I'm sure, dove food. You could probably, you know, Google or look up from Amazon that feed your dove if you have one. But he likes cockatiel food. Not every bird's the same. And if you get a white dove, he may hate cockatiel food, but this one does. And uh, Noah is doing great. So this is the monthly checkup. If y'all have any questions y'all would like for me to answer, I will answer them uh, in the next video. So make sure to comment down below. Say hi to Noah. And we're approaching that 23rd birthday in about five or six months, aren't we, buddy? Yep, we're excited. So, all right, guys. God bless. We'll see y'all on the next one.